Proposed new regulations that might affect some pizzerias in New York City have been greeted by conservatives and some random New Yorkers in about the way that you'd expect. Take a look at this. Give us pizza or give us death. Give us pizza or give us death. Oh man, don't do that. And I'm not saying that because it seems weird. Just don't do that because I want that pizza. What are you doing? You're wasting good New York pizza. I want it right now. But anyway, that's a conservative artist who's not having the proposed regulations. You also have Dave Portnoy, who apparently is a, as you're gonna find out, a big fan of pizza. Here is his thoughts. In New York City, some little liberal arts, Ivy League, pink haired, crazy liberal who's never worked one day in the real world is on an environmental commission. And they woke up from their little nappy poo, wherever that may be. Now, like I figured out how to save the world today. We have to get rid of coal oven pizzerias in New York City. We gotta stop that, the, the emissions, I guess is pollution, blah, blah, blah. Listen, I've never been the biggest New York City guy. They're old school pizzerias, that's the guts of the city. You come for them, I'm coming for your throat, that's a promise. So uh, strong words, I'm not super familiar with Dave Portnoy uh, based on his critiquing of this hypothetical pink haired woke Libby hip woman or whatever. I'm assuming he's some sort of like manual laborer. It seems like he does a lot of like real, you know, like working class salt of the earth type work or something. That's what I'm gathering. Anyway, because that that's the only people that can opine about this. If you believe, for instance, that high emissions in urban areas like in New York needlessly kill tons of working class people, then you're an elitist. How dare you care about the lungs of the working class? Anyway, look, we can have a larger debate about various regulations that might affect emissions. The specific thing in this case, I understand that for some conservatives, anything that can be pitched as an infringement on your freedom is just, you can't let that pass by. It's tastier than a slice of New York pizza, you need to jump in it. In this particular case, they're talking about limiting, like installing emission limiting devices in like between 50 and 100 pizzerias. Now that is not nothing. If that is a cost to you and your business and you're a small business owner, then that is real. And look, I personally think that if you're gonna mandate those sorts of things, and if it's only affecting a few dozen restaurants, then subsidize it. Have the city pay to have those emission regulating devices installed. But let's also not pretend that New York is trying to shut down pizzerias. There are like 2000 pizzerias in New York City, according to the most recent data. This is gonna affect 5% of them or something like that. And I'm an Italian who loves pizza more than you love literally anything. So I think that I can speak with some authority on it. I also think that New York style pizza is the best pizza. Every single time I go to New York, I make sure that I get some. That said, I don't think that this is a crusade against Italians. I don't think that this is an apocalypse for pizzerias. I think that with a little bit of subsidies, the industry is gonna be fine. And you know what, people might breathe a little bit better as a result of it. What do you think, Yaz? Yeah, you know, I'm just trying so hard to be objective because you know, you're from Connecticut too. Connecticut has great pizza, people sleep on Connecticut Mm -hmm. pizza, but it's all the Italians up there, right? I, since moving to Texas over 20 years ago, I still travel back home regularly just for pizza because I need pizza and you can't find it out here. So it is sad that there is an attack, if you wanna call it, on these coal wood burning furnaces where they make the best pizza. But really, it is what you were saying, it's not that big of a deal. It will be fine, the pizza will be fine, the Italians will be fine, everyone (laughs) will be fine. Everyone who travels to New York for pizza will be fine. Really, we do have a problem and we do need to acknowledge that we have a real problem when it comes to emissions in this country and around the world. But there's so many things that we can be doing and we should be doing. But yeah, some of it's going to be uncomfortable. We are going to have to make sacrifices. And some of those sacrifices are not just you know the everyday things that we're gonna have to give up, but a lot of it has to do with identity too, right? You think about pizza, you think of New York, right? That's an identity thing. That's why people are so attached yeah. to it. And that's why there's so much nostalgia around it. And that's why it's so unthinkable to even touch it because that's what they're known for. 
And I get that, I, you know, I have a gas stove in my house and I know that that's bad for me, but I love cooking and you gotta cook with gas, right? That's something I'm gonna probably have to confront at some point soon, right? So we all have to make sacrifices and sometimes it's uncomfortable, but really you'll be fine, we'll all be okay. Yeah, I, I have a gas stove too. You, you know why I have a gas oven? Why I assume you have a gas oven? Is because why? I assume that's what was there when you moved in, right? Yeah, we yeah. we did have a choice in the matter, I will say. Oh, but okay. but yeah, your gas canceled. Stoves are, oh my Cut god, I know gas stoves are but so anyway. good. I don't want to give it up, but I you know I I will eventually. Well, don't worry, no one is actually proposing the complete <laughs> annihilation of uh, gas ovens. And by and the point that I'm making there is that the vast vast majority of conservatives that have been convinced to believe that that's the greatest possible infringement on their freedom, many of them don't even have gas stoves. Many of them just use whatever is the, in the place that they live in. Mm -hmm. And electric stoves being made today are not the same as electric stoves from the 70s. The idea that all technology is stagnant is obviously a historical. And by the way, look, uh, thank you by the way for acknowledging that Connecticut pizza is amazing. It is by the way, basically just New York pizza, but they moved to Connecticut and it's very good. Um, I, I just wanna end with a question to conservatives. Why is it that nothing can ever get better? Why is it that anytime anyone dares to think that, hey, maybe we could be slightly healthier. Maybe things could work a little bit smoother. Maybe things could be slightly more efficient. Maybe we could have a little bit more respect for the planet. That instantly has to be shut down by appeals to freedom. Uh, by the way, this is not a rhetorical question. I will also provide you with an answer. The answer is corporate profits. That's it, nothing can ever improve your life, the quality of your life, the quality of your family's life, the quality of your kid's life can never improve because it might hurt some corporation's profits, even just briefly. That is the actual reason and you have been convinced, you have been trained to believe that that is an acceptable reason that things should never improve. That's sick, question that more than you question the, the, the proposed oven regulations. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.